Hey guys, it's Liz, and we're flipping things, and guess what? I'm in the same clothes, and I think professional YouTubers like change their clothes when they make multiple videos in one day, but, you know, I don't have it that together. Someday, someday I will. Also, my kids stepped on my glasses. So you might notice they're crooked now, but that's fine, also fine. Um, today, I am gonna be talking or showing you how I photograph my items to list on eBay. Um, you can see I'm like set up here. I apologize, this is actually my son's little workstation for school. Um, that wasn't what it started as, but that is what it is now because the kids are virtual school three days a week. Um, so I'm going to do my best to kind of show you my process. I don't know if it's the right process. I've seen some people that have like the most amazing light boxes and the ability to really make things look great. I'm not quite there yet, but it works, right? It works. And this is just sort of to show you, you don't have to have the most expensive equipment. You don't have to have, um, like the DIY beautiful light boxes. You can make your items look professional and sell them on eBay with um, just the super basics. So let's get to it. Hey guys, all right, so I'm um, gonna show you my setup. I haven't, I'm using, I use my ring light um, to photograph. So I don't have a tripod now to put my camera on. So I haven't figured out how I'm gonna do that yet, but first I'm gonna show you the setup. Um, so let me turn the camera around. Okay, so first off, you can see this is just a regular chair in my house that I have covered in a white blanket. I picked this white blanket up at TJ Maxx. I want to say it was $14.99, um, but it's a good neutral background and kind of works for everything. It's also really good if I need to perhaps make the background transparent. Over here, I've got one just like regular light from my desk that my son uses and then I have my ring light so basically on each side one and two I've got let me sort of back up so you can see it on each side um, I have light coming in because what I'm trying to do is avoid shadows on the items that I am taking photos of so I'm going to try to figure out how to set up the camera and I'll probably time lapse through photographing but I don't know we'll figure it out Okay, I don't really know if it's working, but I guess we're gonna see. Um, I always just double check that the blanket is nice and smooth. Make sure there's no like real noticeable bumps or like sometimes it just gets a little fuzz on it. Um, and then I'm gonna start with my items. Typically, I use my iPhone to photograph, but I'm using my iPhone to record right now. <laughs> So I'm actually using my son's iPhone. Um, I don't have a fancy camera. I actually do have a fancy camera. I don't use it. I find it so much easier to just, the, the iPhones and, and all phones these days have cameras that are so great. Like you don't really need um, like anything outrageous to take pictures for eBay. So I am using my son's phone. I hope I remember the password. He's a hockey practice right now. And let's get to taking pictures. Okay, I gotta be honest, um, that was a bit of a disaster. I tried to set up, like, I tried to, like, balance my phone and do a time lapse. But then um, when I looked back after I photographed everything, I realized the time lapse, you couldn't even see what I was doing. You could not see what I was photographing. I angled it the wrong way. So I can't be perfect all the time and I am a work in progress. <laughs> so I did go back and actually like screen record me photographing. So you can't see like the act of me photographing, but you can see through the screen me like setting the items and taking the photos. And I think that's close because you saw the setup. Um, and then right here, right here, 
I'm actually going to scroll some of the final listings so you can see um, how the pictures came out. Sometimes I do go in with like a photo editor and brighten them up a little bit if they need it. Um, but honestly, like, yes, professional photos help on eBay. Um, but it's really about just like minimalist, nothing but your item, um, a non-distracting background and good photos. It, they don't need to be professional. Um, obviously you can tell, you can tell like the, the pros that have like light boxes and it looks like the thing is floating and like just fabulous photography. But guess what? People that just do photos with their iPhones and a couple lights that they already have around their house are also selling on eBay. So don't let not having the right equipment stop you. Um, you can work up to it over time. That's what I'm doing, right? And this is working for me for now. I'm working with what I've got. And that's a lot of what selling on eBay really is. Like work with what you've got. Um, the same goes for YouTube. I have a ring light, which is not in my recommendations because I don't, I'm not a fan. Like the tripod part is like stuck in the open position. I can't close it and put it in a case anymore. And um, I'm looking for a new one. But ultimately, like the tripod, um, the, I have a ring light. I use my iPhone and um, I have my MacBook. And that's it. That is what I'm making YouTube videos with. I use iMovie for editing um, and Canva for doing my... Um, thumbnails, which is a free program. I do have the paid version, but that is through work. Like I've always had the paid version. Um, and then I use iMovie, which is free. And before I had my MacBook, I was using iMovie on my phone to edit all of my videos. So it is doable. Sometimes you got to just jump. You got to just take the leap and start. And then as you progress, you improve. And so that's kind of what I'm doing. And I hope this showed you um, that it is possible to run an eBay business with like a scarcity of, um, tools, like better tools obviously is a good thing, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary. So I hope this helped. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I did a whole video where you can't see what I'm doing at all. So I'm really rocking it. That's okay. I'm going to go have a beer and relax this evening and um i'm looking for like a new series to binge everybody keeps saying shit's creek i think that's how it's pronounced i'm not even sure so i'm thinking maybe i'll start that i don't know um but have an awesome day and be good to each other stay safe out there and i will talk to you guys soon bye